Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own custom Minecraft title GUI. What exactly do I mean by title GUI? Well, Minecraft's title right over here. Um, this exact box, so this part, um, the Minecraft, you're going to be able to customize that as well as the part over here that says a Java edition, you're going to be able to customize that as well with this tutorial. Um, now this tutorial is not going to teach you how to make a texture pack. It's, um, you know, and you also don't need to know for this tutorial. Um, it's literally just going to tell you how to change this. Um, don't worry, you don't actually need to know how to make a texture pack for this tutorial, but it's not going to teach you how to do it either. You'll, um, I'll, I'll explain that a bit more later. Anyways, if you do want to know how to make an actual Minecraft texture pack fully custom by yourself and customize anything, then there will be a tutorial for that linked down in the description. Okay, here we are. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head right down to probably the top link in the description box below. It's going to be a link to this. This is a folder, it's a sample folder. As I said in the intro, you guys don't actually need to know how to make a texture pack. That's because this is the pack you're going to be using. You're just going to be customizing it to your desire. As I said, you can download it in the description. Should be the top link, it's just a media fire download. Um, anyway, then you should be left with this zip file over here. It's Me64's title GUI. Anyways, once you have this, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click on it and then select the extract all option. Now if you don't see this extract all option, you might want to hit shift and F10 or click on show more options. This will give you a few more options and you can click on extract all over here. If you still don't see it, then something you can do is download a program called 7-Zip. It's really small, and what this will do is it will allow you to have the extract all option here. Um, it just depends on the device you're using and the OS and things like that. Anyways, I'm just going to select extract all and then extract again. Um, there we are. Anyways, now I've got two. Um, this one and this one. This is the zip folder we extracted and this is the product of that extraction, a regular file folder. You don't need the zip folder anymore. You can throw this into the recycle bin. If you want to do this mo process multiple times though, it might be worth keeping so you can then extract it again and again and again and again all over again. Um, whenever you want to. Anyways, we're going to go through customizing this and to do that we're going to have a few optional steps and a few steps which um, I mean, you're going to want to do, right? Because I'm pretty sure you want to customize it. Um, anyways, we'll go through the, 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 the normal steps first and then some other customizations you can make afterwards. Anyways, once you open that up, you'll see there's three things in here. A folder called Assets, um, a file called Pack.mc Meta, and a picture called Pack.png. We're just going to focus on the folder called Assets over here, and that is going to be a few folders so you can just navigate through those. So Assets, Minecraft, Textures, GUI, Title, and then finally here we are. We've got three files, and these are going to be the files we are going to be working with. Um, and you might recognize these. This one over here, um, I can just open that up. This is the loading screen, the Mojang Studios text from the loading screen, you know, the red loading screen. This is that. Um, this right over here is, it, it's just Minecraft. Um, there you go. It says this is, uh, this is the part that shows up um, on screen in the main menu, which I showed you guys earlier. Um, it's split into two to be able to make the file smaller. Um, and it's together with the Minecraft Realms logo as well. And then over here, we have the Edition. Um, so that's the one I showed you earlier as well. It just says Java Edition. Um, and now you can customize this in any way you want. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna edit this one. You can if you want to, you don't have to. If you don't want to, then just leave it where it is. It doesn't matter at all. You can customize anything you want, however you want. But there's a few exceptions. Yep. So, um, here we are. Here this is. Um, and now, first off, as you can see, this Minecraft is split into two. 
um, there's like an invisible boundary here and things like that, right? And there's a few things that I need to explain. Um, let me just grab a brush. I'll make it um, purple because that's a kind of nice color. Um, anyways, let's say we're to customize, and I was like, you know what? I want to add a squiggle over here. Yeah, I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but let's say you want to add something on the outside. Well, this is not actually going to show up. Right over here, you need to draw like an invisible line, or you can literally draw one in. Maybe not this close, but a few pixels to the side. Um, just like draw it in, because anything outside of that is not actually going to show up into Minecraft. And then you can do the same thing here again. Um, you can just go like this, since there's the border there. And then we've got a bit of a border here as well. I, I'm not trying to make it exactly straight. Um, let me just erase this part over here. There we go. Um, but you get the idea, right? So if it's outside of here, then it's not actually going to show up into Minecraft. Um, so you need to customize the actual text itself and not just draw something on the outside. If you want to replace this with a drawing, then what you can literally do is um, hit over to select over here and then just delete it, right? And then you can draw. Um, now, how do you want to edit this? I really don't care. You can use Adobe Photoshop, Paint 3D, Paint.net, regular paint, literally anything you want. Um, you can edit it in literally any way. I honestly do not care. I'm using Paint 3D because it's free, it's easy to use, it's extremely simple, and it's great for me to make a tutorial with for you guys because it's easy to explain. If you want to make if you want to make use of Adobe Photoshop and you don't know how it works, that's not my problem. You're gonna have to look that up, right? But this is really easy. Um, anyways, when editing. In Paint 3D, I recommend the Pixel Brush um, since this is all made out of pixels, of course, um, and you can just customize the pixels. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly um, make this purple. Um, that's the way I'm going to customize it. That way you'll actually see some changes showing up in game. I'm just going to do this really quick and lazily, just like so. As you can see, I'm just using the bucket tool to fill in a few of these areas and make it purple. Of course, you can do anything you want, um, but I'm just doing this so that it I can import this into Minecraft and show you guys like, hey, look, something changed. Now that I've done this, I can come over here and what I'm actually just going to do um, is remove the purple on the outside because I think I drew it in a bit too close. You're going to have to experiment with that a little bit. Anyways, I've customized this exactly how I want it to. So actually, I added a few more changes. Um, as I said, change it in any way you want. You don't have to change this. You can also change the Minecraft Realms or not change anything at all. That's also fine. Um, however, I wouldn't know why we'd be watching this video then. Anyways, once you're done with changing, you could just save it by hitting Ctrl S or going over to the menu to save it like right up there. Then you could just exit out and as you can see, look, it's all purple now. Amazing. Um, and you can continue to customize anything you want. So I can um, open this with Paint 3D, the edition. And um, I, I don't want Java edition, so I'm going to remove the Java from here. There we go. I'm going to grab my text. Um, let's just grab it. There we go. Let's see if this is going to be. This is not so small. Um, I was going to write bedrock in here but that's kind of difficult. There we go, it's now Bedrock Edition, beautiful. That's what I've always wanted. So, I've done everything I wanted to, hit Ctrl S to save it, boom, there we go. We've got Bedrock Edition with Purple Minecraft ready to go. Once you've done all the editing you wanted, um, what you can do is you can just go back all the way to the start where we saw these three things. We are now done with the assets. Boom. That's done. You've pretty much made the pack. Now we just need to change a few things. Um, so you want to open up a pack.mc meta. Now there's a few ways you can do this. Number one is by downloading Notepad++ from the Microsoft Store. It's free. Don't worry. Um, and then what you want to do once you've downloaded it is right click, go to open with and select Notepad++. 
then you can open it up and boom you'll have this just like that perfect it's opened up that's exactly what you wanted now if you don't want to do that something else you can do is go over to rename then where you see the MC meta you just want to put txt yeah um, then you can just click yes on this pop-up and then you can open this just like so just with notepad or any other text editor like Google Docs or Microsoft Word or anything you want you do need to watch out because you cannot change the format of this it is very important um, so we have this and there's a few things you can change to it not everything you need to be very careful so here we have the description. The standard description will be made by It's Me 64. Check me out on YouTube. Of course, for you guys, subscribe, please. Thank you very much. You can leave it as it is. If you don't want to edit it, just like leave it, all right? Um, but you can also choose to edit it. And the only thing you can edit is the description. Um, and only in between this quotation mark and this quotation mark, yeah? Let's say I accidentally removed this comma from over here. Boom, pack will not work and will not import into Minecraft. Let's say I accidentally remove this quotation mark. Oh no, the pack won't work and it won't import into Minecraft, right? So you need to be very careful with what you touch. Yeah, so you can edit everything in between here. So there we go, I've done the editing, I've added the description I want, don't make it too long. This will also show up in Minecraft as the pack description, you'll be able to see it once you've imported it. Anyways, once you're done editing just the description, hit Ctrl S to save it, um, and then exit out. Now if you downloaded Notepad++ or open it with a text editor, then you're fine. However, if you change it to .txt, what you're going to want to do is right click, rename, it's this very important and make sure you change the txt back to MC meta. Um, as long as the, the um, file name extension, this part over here is MC meta, then you're good. Um, a way to check this is to see um, under the type over here, it is an MC meta file. Um, some a mistake that someone once made is they put pack mc meta um, just like this and then it doesn't work then it's just a file you need to have the dot there if you don't see the mc meta or the txt something you need to do is go over to view show and make sure that file name extensions is ticked anyways once you've done that you've edited the mc meta file great that's also done now now you have the pack.png over here you can open this up, and wow, it's the ESME64 logo. Beautiful. I would never want to change this. But let's say you're some sort of weird person, and you do want to change the pack logo. What you can then do is uh, delete it. Yeah, you can just delete this, and boom, it's gone. Um, there's no pack logo. Then you can add in your own one. I'm just going to go over to my deleted items and then restore the one I had in there. There we go. Um, okay, so I've got my pack.png in here. There's a few things you need to make sure of. Um, I'm just going to open it up with Paint 3D to show you guys. So, um, if you head into Canvas, as you can see, the width and the height are the same. And that is very important. It needs to be absolutely square. If it's not square, then it's going to get stretched, deformed, cut off, or something like that, and that won't look nice. So you want to make sure that it's square, um, and that's mainly it. Now you might have an image, and the image might look something like this, yeah? Um, it might be that your image, instead of PNG, it is called a JPG, yeah? Now, as you can see, this is also a perfectly fine image. I can open it, beautiful, amazing. However, it won't work. Minecraft wants a PNG file. So if it's JPG, make sure you change the JPG to .png, just like we changed the .dxc to .mc meta. Also, the image will only work if it is called pack and 
Wow, voice crack. If it is called pack and nothing but pack, it's only allowed to be called pack.png. If this is the exact name, then you are good. Yeah. And we are now ready to import this into Minecraft. So to do so, what you can do is hit Control A. Um, that'll select everything. And then you can just right click and then compress the zip file just like we extracted everything earlier. Again, if this isn't here, you're going to need 7-zip. So we can compress this to a zip file and this we can call anything you want. So um, I'm just going to call it M64's cool tight title gy there we go beautiful perfect this is it as you can see there's dot zip at the end that's pretty important you want to keep that there um and i'm just going to drag this to my desktop um that way i have this in accessible location um that's a pretty good idea and this is it this is exactly what you want this is your pack um beautiful right anyways what you can do next is just go to the minecraft launcher um wait for it to load like usual and then you can go ahead and launch minecraft so as you can see minecraft has been opened up um here it is i've got it in tabbed mode i do definitely recommend that Got Minecraft over here and this is my pack i just made it's me 64's cool title gui by the way, if you want a reference pack, then you can also download this pack, the one I made in today's video, in the description. And you can import it into Minecraft, or you can look through it, you know, extract it, check out all the cool edits I made. Um, anyways, you can download it if you want a reference pack or something like that, whatever. If you want it, then um, take it. Anyways, to import this, you just simply want to go over to Options, Resource, Packs, and then click on Open Pack Folder. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys have done this before. This is just literally the same as importing any texture pack. Um, what I always do is I copy it and then go into the folder and paste it in. Otherwise, if this folder is completely full with texture packs and you try and drag it in, sometimes you can actually drag it inside of an other texture pack instead of dragging it inside of the texture packs folder. Um, anyways, here it is. This is it um, right over here. Let's just uh, zoom in a little. There we go. So as you can see, it's me 64 is cool title GUI. That is the pack. That's the name I gave it. Um, and as you can see over here, this is the description I gave my pack. Um, here's the description that was there before. As you can see, you don't want to make them too long. Otherwise, they won't actually show up into Minecraft. Anyways, we're just going to enable this and then click on Done. Let Minecraft do its thing. And then, boom! Look at that. We have purple Minecraft and a very poorly readable bedrock edition I'm not sure if you're going to even be able to read that with YouTube compression but you know you get the idea right um anyways guys that's it if you have any questions whatsoever make sure to leave those down in the comments below join the discord the link in the description and maybe in the pinned comment depends on if I feel like it if I'm not too lazy remember you know that sort of thing um Anyways, what are you going to do with this? Like, what, what changes are you going to make? Let me know down in the comments below as well. Anyways, guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.